हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द मैन अटेम्प्ट्स टू पुल डाउन द ट्री यूजिंग द केबल एंड स्मॉल पुली अरेंजमेंट शोन इफ द टेंशन इन ए बी इज सिक्सटी पाउंड राइट सो वी आर गिवन द टेंशन इन दिस केबल ए बी राइट द फोर्स विच द मैन अप्लाइज राइट सो लेट मी ड्रा लेट मी रिप्रेजेंट दैट सिक्सटी पाउंड फोर्स so let's say that this is that uh, 60 pound force so this is our 60 pound force this is 60 pounds and further it is said that determine the tension in cable cad right so we need to find the tension in this cable cad which passes through this pulley right so the tension in uh, this cable will be let's say equal to t right so this will be t in both the cords right so let's say if this is the tension in this ca cable right so then there will be the same tension t in this cord as well in this cable as well right so let's say that this is t so then this is also t and if we uh, extend the line of action of both of these so they will intersect at a common point right so these three forces are concurrent forces if we neglect this small pulley so then these three forces are concurrent forces and they will uh, intersect at a point right so this problem is a little bit tricky right so if you people want to solve this problem with the the conventional uh, x and y coordinates so this will be a little bit harder to solve right so it will make your calculation harder right so the best method for this problem is that you people need to define Uh, another alternate uh, x and y coordinates right so let's say that uh, my coordinates let's say that this is my x coordinate or let's say this is my positive x coordinate right and which is which is aligned with this which is parallel with this 60 pound 4 right so this is my positive x direction and let's say that this is our y coordinate which is perpendicular with that 60 pound force right so this is our positive y right so now uh, we can see that this x axis is, is making 30 degrees with the horizontal right so this means that this angle is 30 degrees right so if this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 20 degrees so this means that this angle is 10 degrees so this is 30 minus 20 right and if this is the case if this is 10 degrees and this whole angle is theta so then this means that this angle is theta minus 10 degrees right so we have to find that theta this is theta minus 10 degrees so this tension t is making theta minus 10 degrees with the positive x axis and this t is making 10 degrees with the positive x axis right and this 60 pound force is parallel with the uh, this x this uh, alternate x axis is right so let me convert this all into a free body diagram let me isolate this and now we can place this t forces uh, at at same concurrent point right since these three forces are concurrent so we can place that we can neglect the size of pulley right so we can say that these three forces are concurrent right so this means that uh this is our t force this angle is now 10 degrees right and this angle is theta minus 10 right so we have to correctly define our parameters right so this is 10 degrees this angle is theta minus 10 degrees this is our 60 pounds this is our positive x and this is our positive y right now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 since the system is in equilibrium right so as we can see that this t is making some angle with this positive x axis so it will have two components right so it will have one component this t uh, tension t in this cable will have one component which will be acting like this and this is the cos component right so this will be t cos of theta minus 10 degrees and similarly this tension t will have one component right and that component will also be 
acting in the same direction right so this will be the red component on the top of this right let me try it a bit smaller so that it is visible right so this component is t cos of 10 degrees this is the component of this tension t right then these two t forces will have two components as well so this t will have one component which will be acting in this direction right so this will be the sine component right let me write it clear so then this component is this black component is the cos component so this is t cos of theta minus 10 and this component is t sine of theta minus 10 degrees and similarly this t will have another component which will be acting like this right let me draw it in black color right so this will be the component of this t and this component will be t sine of 10 degrees right so now as we can see that this uh, sine component of this t is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus t sine of theta minus 10 degrees and this one is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus t sine of 10 degrees equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of the equation so this will be equal to this thing right and this t will be cancelled out and this we will be left with the uh, sine of theta minus 10 equals to sine of 10 so if this equality is valid so this means that theta minus 10 degrees is equal to 10 degrees and this theta will be equal to 10 plus 10 so this means that this theta is 20 degrees which was required right so in this problem it is said it was required that determine the tension t in the cable cad and the angle theta right so that angle theta is 20 degrees so this means that uh, both of these tensions t were symmetrical about this line so if this angle is 10 degrees so then this angle is also 10 degrees right so the overall angle theta between these two cables uh, were 20 degree right so this theta was 20 degrees and now we can find this tension t by applying the second condition of equilibrium that is the summation of forces along x equals to zero now as we can see that uh, this black component of this t is acting in the positive x direction so we can write that this is t cos of theta minus 10 right so this is theta minus 10 and similarly the component of this t this pink one is t cos of 10 and it is also acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus t cos of 10 degrees and this 60 pounds is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 60 and this will be equal to 0 right so now we know the theta value as well right so and if we take let me first put theta equals to 20 so this means that this will be t cos of 20 minus 10 so this will be 10 and this is t cos of 10 degrees and this will be equal to 60 degrees and similarly we can see that both of these are same so this means that this is 2 t cos of 10 degrees and this means that t equals to this is not degrees right so this is 60 here. so this is 60 divided by 2 cos of 10 degrees so from this we get t equals to 30.5 pounds right so this is the solution of this particular problem